hello it's Sarah and today I am I'm just prepping these this is the these I don't know what it was called I think it's called an ATC box but it was by Prima I got it a little while ago and it's um, with all of the um, uh, Finnabar um, products that just came out like she has some really cool paints uh, stamps, stencils, stuff like that. Um, texture pastes and things, all by Prima. So I've been wondering what, they're not exactly ATC size, they're not perfect ATC size, I should say. Like they're not two and a half by three and a half. They're, um, let me, I'll get my ruler. They're like, they're just under, I can't find my ruler. <clears throat> that's three and a half but they're sh they're narrow this way two and a quarter so just under ATC size I mean definitely usable as an ATC and so I've decided to start prepping them I'm just gonna I'm putting a like a random coat of gesso this is acrylic gesso white acrylic gesso I'm applying it with a brush and just sloppy, not really, um, I don't care if I cover the entire thing. Uh, I, I kind of want to leave some blank spaces just because when I add color, it'll take differently because gesso is going to make the paper um, not porous so paper is porous meaning that the paint will absorb into the paper and gesso creates a barrier so it's like you're putting the paint onto a solid surface and then it'll it'll what is it called um you know it'll go down into the paper in some spots so anyway then i'm gonna go live and I want to get some ideas from you guys for uh, prompts for mixed media art journaling. And I've Googled it and I went online this morning. Um, it's very early. I am never up at this time. Never. My dog woke me up three times last night. I don't know if she didn't feel good or what. But um, anywho, I decided to get out of bed and um, I felt inspired. Isn't that crazy? I was like, oh, I have a project I want to do. Um, so there are 52 of these guys. Um, Stacy, Pink Poodle Crafts, um, Shell C, a lot of the, the mixed media artists on YouTube have done something like this. Barb Owen has a great um, one and Nina Rabina. So I, those are just a few of the names that I saw this morning. Uh, um, I, I think there are pick a stick challenges. Crazy Island family used to do that. Um, I don't even know if she still makes videos because they moved off the grid to Hawaii. Anywho, um, oh, I have Mendy. Do you see my Mendy? You can't really see my hand for whatever reason maybe it's because I'm old now I just did like a mandala on that but I went to a Mendy party last night um, Maya's mommy is getting married and she's marrying an Indian his name is Kush Patel anywho um, the girls all were over and Monica was getting all mendied up they man they did such a good job and of course you know, to me, I just saw mandalas. <laughs> so I should have practiced, but I did it myself. I could have waited for one of the girls to put it on me. But I thought, I just wanted to, you know, of course I have to try it because that's what I do. Um, so I just did like this. I did so many times and it stains. But I did, a, I tried to do a, like a little mandala flower there starting out and it didn't work. But I have a heart. I put a little bird there he's messy it's a lot harder to do on yourself like I obviously should have let them do it and they really could have done a good job but you know there was only a couple there was a lot of girls waiting so I figured well I'm capable I wanted to just try it 
Um, so anywho, uh, I don't know what time is, is too early for you guys to be out there in uh, YouTube land to give me, because I think I just want to get your ideas and um, obviously I have an idea of what I would like to see on prompts. Okay, so basically these prompts are then, if I were to do an art journal page, which I have not been working in my art journal at all. I've been doing the, the one monthly page that we do, which I'm very happy I did that or, you know, that I'm doing it because that keeps me doing it. But I have so many art journals. I have three or four different art journals that I have plenty of room to work in. And um, let me see if these are getting dry. Yeah, the paper is a little bit warped too. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. I wonder if I... Anywho, no, I don't think so. Um, I interrupt myself. Ugh, it's terrible. I, uh, I can't remember. What, I lost my train of thought. I have to rewind the tape and watch and see what I was saying. Anywho, um, oh, I have an idea of what I would like to see on my prompts. Now, some of them are get a piece of scrap paper, tear it into, tear a, um, make a heart, tear a heart out of scrap paper, adhere it to the page. Like, I don't know if I want it that specific or if I just want um, prompts of um, different media supplies, like I never use the wax pencils, whatever they're called. Um, oh, what are they called? You know what I mean. It's like a, I never use certain things. So I think that's what I'm going to put here. This, this is called a, a China marker, you know? So like, I think I want to put those type of prompts in there to get me to use the supplies that I never use. So like my, um, the pat this drawer right here specifically like use a paint pen use I have the um, neo color twos I have what are these called pastels oil pastels um, anywho that that's my thinking that's what I'm kind of thinking I I would like to see on my prompts so. Basically, you would pick maybe, I think I've seen people pick 10 pick a sticks for one page, but I think I would probably do five because depending on what they are, and obviously you have artistic um, freedom to do what you want. You don't have to do exactly what the card says. I mean, it's a challenge. If it's a challenge, it's a challenge. But these are just going to be to help me um, when you feel stuck or not even stuck, but I just don't like to think that hard sometimes I just want to play when I do my art journaling I don't and I mean I do tend to um, have a, a process that I like to follow so this is out of my box a little bit you know because it would help me to be more free just do what the card says and play and use my imagination so I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely oh man I'm definitely gonna go live and get some of your input because I love hearing what you guys say I know that you um, all watch a lot of other artists and um, I have not been watching YouTube videos the way I used to um, when I first and it's coming on five years I actually saw um, some of my earlier videos, I think someone made a comment on one of my earlier videos, and it was like five years ago. Um, I can't believe it, but back then, I was addicted to YouTube. I would just like watch for hours and hours, and um, I saw so many new things. And I don't know what's going on with me, you guys. I'm going through a different time in my life it's kind of empty nest it's it's wondering you know I'm 54 what is 
the rest of my life going to be? I'm not raising my kids anymore. You know, you go from mommy, now I'm a mom mom. We only see my granddaughter every other weekend at the moment. Ooh, bitch. Anywho, um, but when my mom passed away, it felt like this is, this is what I needed. Like, I needed to create. I had to, like, it just felt so good. And I don't know if I need to create as much as I used to. Plus, I have every, I have so much. I should probably unload some of it. I should sell it on my Etsy store. But I love it all. Like, it's crazy. I don't know why. Um, all right, well, I'm going to go off camera and finish these up. Wow, it takes a minute. And um, come back, and I'm going to add some color to these. And um, who knows? I mean, I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to do. I'm just going to mix media them. <laughs> just put some color on, and uh, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll be back. I'll show you what I'm going to do. All right, I got out my jelly plate. This is, I think, a 5x5 five five or a 6x6. Six six. It's 5x5. Um, five five. <laughs> I got it at AC Moore. Um, don't know if they still have it. It's been a while. I'm going to start with my pinks. Pink, orange, yellow. Um, colors that won't make mud. And because I just got, um, and red, I just got some of the, the gloss enamels and um, satins and things for dotting, I think I want to try those on these cards, just because, why not, right? Um, there's probably old stuff on here. Oops. So I've got my cards all gessoed, and I'm just going to start adding color like this. Not really doing a design or anything like maybe just a little bit of color at first I think this is what my thought is anyway just really want these to be random oops they were stuck together and then once I've picked up this color I'll switch to another color I don't know if it's going to be good, but <clears throat> it seemed like a good idea at the time. Like, I think I do want to cover more of the... Pick up as much of this as I can. I still have a lot of paint on the brayer. And when you jelly print, you can always um, briar off onto uh, a scrap paper, and then it will be a another print, actually, you know. See, that's just a nice light color. And then I'll go over it in a few places. But it's not nearly as bright as those. All right, see, look, so I'll have this deli paper here. I'm going to go with some of this orange. This is a new one. This is a gloss. Pumpkin Orange by Apple Barrel. And I don't remember. I think I was at Walmart when I got these. So I'm going to see if I want to do... I just got out these handmade stamps that I've done. Now, see, I'm an overdoer when it comes to the paint. You can also just... Look, I have a drip here. I can just take it and brayer it on. I might just do that on these. And start fresh with um, others with the orange. I'm going to do a couple different um, color palette. Um, so like I'll do purples, I'll do greens and blues um, so there'll be a, a mishmash of oops I'm making a mess well that's the fun part isn't it all right sorry um, all right but I so all right now I'm gonna take a few 
and start these. Look, and some of the red is going to get on there. But it's just an easy way to apply color in a mixed media way. Oh, I'm loving these. these this is my favorite because it's, it's mixing on the jelly plate. So let's do a... Like, I just really like that just the way it is. Like, I should leave it. That's, it's hard for me. All right, I want to put that down. I'm going to do another one right here. Yummy. I like it. Love, love, love. All right. So, and the gesso being on the paper also, it has somewhere to sit, so some of these I might keep really faint. That's, I really want to try to do that because it's not my nature. Like, I'm usually all or nothing, but see the difference now between the pulls I did and the brayered off ones, but they're still in the same family. I'm going to go to another color. We're going to add pink now. This is a gloss, pure pink. Oh, I still have more on my brayer, I think. Getting messy here. I don't even know if I'll use those stamps, but I think I should. All right, I'm just going to brayer this off. And let's go with this gloss pink. Uh, I don't want to put too much. I tried to stop myself there. So this is a gloss. I'm just going to take and brayer it on a plain one too. Um, then, see these are really wet, but I do want to add, like on this, I'm going to add some pink. Um, Maybe I'll do a floral pattern. Now I have it on here too, so see I think I should try to stamp this out on here. It's not really picking it up, so we'll go on to I'm take this one. And I it's not really the pattern isn't showing up, so I'm gonna take a new one. I have 52 of these, so I mean, I just I just want to get some color on here. But I did want to add some pink. So this has a little red, orange, and pink. Uh, here's a red orange so it's very faint this might this might have been a um just a pull that I did it just added pink to the edges there love all right so these just have pink these were brayered. These were um, a pull. So I just want to keep, this has like a little bit of orange on it. I'm going to put a little pink on here. Really just cleaning off the um, jelly plate and picking up some of the pink. So I think some of these I can put in the done pile. I didn't add yellow to them all. Like this just has mostly orange. These are just pink. Oh wait, what about these? These are the ones that I brayered. So they're super dark. I think I'm gonna add some yellow. Now this is just a um, Americana, no this is Ceram coat, just the yellow. I don't. Oh, how about gold? No, yellow looks... I wish I had like a yellow metallic or... 
only gold. I only have gold. Like, I'm not a yellow person, per se. I have a neon orange. Oh, maybe I have a neon yellow. Nope. Well, not at the ready. Wait, maybe right here. Yep, I have a neon yellow. I don't know if it's going to show up. Neons are, they're very translucent. So I think I'm just going to stick with my, this is just an opaque matte. I mean, a matte, not an opaque. And I think I'll just start a couple again with my brayer with the yellow because a brayer applies the paint like that. Like it's, it's so cool. It's just, yay. I'm sorry. <laughs> that looks like sunshine right there. So anyway, um, that looks good. And then I'll brayer off over here. I'm going to add a little yellow on these pink ones. Oh, that's a lot. See, I should just take a blank one since I have a ton of them and go yellow. And that's different. That's a different one. I think I want to add a little yellow to these. The yellow is an overpowering color, it seems. So I should, um, I should have maybe like done some stamping. But that's okay. It's starting to be less. Maybe, I don't know. I love these. I don't know if I want to add yellow to them. They're looking super pretty. See, this is good. This is just, these are the ones that I had the flower pattern on now. But now the jelly plate's getting really kind of pulled. I can add it. I'm not really, um, nothing, well, Besides decorative painting, I'm not proficient in most of the uh, crafts that I do, meaning I'm no expert. Now, that was cool because it just, see, I could do that with this. Um, so I don't really know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just going for it, and I'm just, like I said, I'm just adding color. And there's no mistake. It's just, you know, as long as it's popping... That's all I care. Now look, just a tiny bit of yellow. So these are just like all yellow now. These are my total yellow ones. Um, I think I want to go back to... See, look, even the ones that I put like the half, like that's a cool print. I could go on top of that though with something. So I'm just going to keep playing. I'm, I got it. Look, I'm probably halfway through my deck though. Um, maybe not quite. I want to switch it up to some blues and greens. So I'm going to finish these and then I'll come back when I'm doing the blues and greens. So I'm loving, loving, loving those. Sorry, I didn't need to say loving three times. Um, I don't know. It's early, guys. I'm not used to being up this early. Uh, I want to go live, but I think I'll give it till... I'll finish this video and then I'll go live. I think I'm going to use um, black on the back of these and I'm just going to do it softly. Maybe, um, hmm, I don't know. I was thinking, I have black gesso. That might be an idea. Anywho, all right, I've pulled a couple of different blues and greens and blue greens. I don't know. I'm going to try them. I love these colors. But look, I did a little stenciling at the end with yellow and just did full-on stencil, the remnants of the stencil, very, very, like maybe the, the ghost print of the stencil, and just made sure all of them had a little bit of everything. I think the least used color on these was the red because that's what I started with, and so not all of them got red. Like... Um, Anywho, I'm loving it. And then this one has a tiny ghost of a, of a circle there. There's a couple that have very few, but I like that. 
So it really basically, oh, like this is definitely a ghost. Um, or this actually may even just be the back of the stencil. I don't know. So those are, they're all, actually they're not dry dry. So I think I'm just going to leave them kind of sp splayed out like this so that to give them a chance to dry a little better. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with, this is called, this is a, a, a satin again. Multi-surface satin by Craftsmart Tide Pool. And I have some deli paper over here to brayer off on because I use, see, I use too much paint. This is only a five by five jelly plate. So first thing I'm gonna do actually then is just brayer on the color onto some of my cards because I like the look of that too. It's just, I'm trying to keep it soft and it's not in my nature to be soft necessarily. So um, I'm trying not to really press all the way down with the cards either to just keep it like I'm not. So I want some of the other areas to be blank because I want to add other colors. Don't you love that color though? It's so gorge. And then as I pick up, I'm going to press all over the place more because it's going to get fainter. Um, these are the ones I brayered. So I'm just going to pick up, I'll do one more. This, this card I'll just clean off the jelly plate like and just keep picking up prints. Just clean it off. And then we'll do a little bit of the apple green. Now that really got all over the place. <laughs> but I leave that on there. And this I believe is called apple green. Sour apple. I didn't put very much of that down. I'm going to try it on this one. And it just hit the edges. OMG. See, sometimes, see, that's really subtle. You guys probably can't even tell. I want to do a whole print of that. Because I think it might pick up the blue behind it. I'm not sure. OMG. Like, it's just, see, I... I'm liking the subtlety, oh wow, with just a little bit of the blue. And then I'll add it back in. When it mixes, that's like the prettiest. But I need green. I'm gonna put, let me do some light blue first. This is called Bahama Blue, and again, all three of these are just so pretty on their own. Um, I kind of want to do that stencil again, so I'm going to put this This is one of those mixed ones. So it's just unbelievable. I love it. Okay, so wait. Now this is what I was talking about when I did um, the shadow or whatever, right? Like, see, it's starting to get fainter and fainter. So I'm going to take this and just take a pull, complete, like, pull from right here. And that's, like, the opposite. The opposite. <laughs> I'm running out of, okay. 
So that's the ghost print. So cool. Come on. This is fun. I'm really, really, really enjoying this. Um, so I'm going to continue. I'm going to do all these cards. I don't know. I want purples, so I think I'm just going to do purples, too. Um, like different shades of purple. Um, and then I'll come back and I'll do a little stamping on top. So I'll be back when all these are based, the background. All right, I'm back. Everything's done. My purple is a little bit plain, but I'm loving this so far. I'm um, going to do some stamping now, and I have this media, Dina Wakely Media ink pad. It has a couple different colors that I could use with these. I don't have a purple ink pad, but I'll use black on the purple maybe. I think I'm going to use this night on here, although I do have, I kind of, I think I want to do the teal. I'm going to do the teal. I'm just going to do my script. This is an old, um, what is it called? The Michaels brand. And I'm just going to put some, um, this is script lettering on, on here in different directions and different trying. I like to, I don't like to do diagonal, but anything up and down or crosswise is fine. A uh, little bit. Now here's the thing. I don't know how all these are going to play once the deck is complete. I'm going to put the prompts on the other side. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to paint these with black gesso. I think that's what I'm going to do. Not positive, but at the moment. And I think I want to ink the edges of all these. So it's quite a bit of work. Um fun, fun work as far as work goes. I wouldn't consider it, you know, stressful. It's fun. It should be fun. All right, so basically I'm going to go around and I love the way the teal looks on there. Now, and then after that we need to add black and white. Um, so I'm going to go into the, let's see, I think I might for the purple I don't have a purple ink pad. Darn it, darn it. I have a pink. Uh, I don't think that'll show up. I think I might just use the... I'll use black. I'll use black on this one. And then for this, I think I'm going to use the red. So I think I'm just going to set these out. And I'm going to do... See, because I have hearts, too. I think I'm going to do hearts for the red. What the heck? Um, this again, it's a Recollections. That's the name of the brand. And they're going to go in different directions, horizontal and vertical. Sometimes they, it seems like they're stuck together. Just a little bit, not everywhere. I mean, you could do circles, use your favorites, use what you have on hand. It's just to add a little bit more. And then we're going to do, I'm definitely going to do circles with white. And then I might do these little X's. I want to use a small pattern. Stenciling is not, oh, maybe I should use my stencil brush. I got a stencil brush from, I think it was, it might have been Tracy Moreau's website or the stencil guys website I'm sorry not the stencil guys the brush guys um, and it's an actual stencil brush so um, might as well use it I think it's for um, more delicate stenciling so for mixed media I'm just I'm very rough oopsie very rough and um, I'm, I'm not very delicate and that's what I love about it because decorative painting is a lot more of a precise oh my gosh this one has a little flower back there I kind of covered it um, but decorative painting is a lot more precise kind of like quilting and I have I've made two quilts and a couple other little um, things but 
Quilting is too exact of a science for me because I am hasty. I'm impatient. All right, so that's the red. I think I'm going to use purple, um, black for the purple. And maybe I have another little, uh, I could do numbers or something. This is a little, I, um, I want fine. Ooh. But see, I, if I do black, because I was going to do black and white. All right, let me think. Maybe I'll do this night. I think the night, well, gosh, why can't I make decisions? I think I'm going to do I'm going to do the script and I'm going to use night and see what happens. Let me see if that still has ink on it. This is the night, right? Yeah. It kind of looks black. So, I don't know. I might not need, I feel like I should have put a shape on here. Because these, a lot of these turned out plain. I don't know what it was about. I think it was the colors, but see, like this color, these turned, this turned out great. Like, I just like that it has everything on there. Um... Yeah, I wish I had a purple ink, so that has to be on my list. It's kind of rainy today. Maybe I'll go over to um, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I have I have my choice, guys. I have Michael's, AC Moore, Hobby Lobby, and Joann's, although my Joann's isn't, like, it doesn't have a ton of scrapbooking stuff. It's mainly for fabric. Um, but... My cousin Fran, I'm going to Maryland. I'm going to go down probably, I think, next week. Um, and they sell, I'm going to get some media fluid acrylics. I'm going to get a couple colors and um, be able to play with them a little bit. I just think that that is something that I will use. It depends because I, I have all those FW acrylic inks, never use them. I tried using them for dotting and it did not work out because they're not, um, the texture isn't right. They're a little too thin and watery. So, um, boy, that was a workout. Feels like I'm sweating here. <clears throat> Just using that stamp. All right, now, I want to do, this is the fun part because we're, I'm going to add white and black to everything so I don't have to worry about switching colors. I really did get hot. I'm putting on my fan. Sorry. Hopefully it won't hit the microphone and be like a wind. I don't think it's hitting over there. All right. So, and the other thing was, once I've added paint to all these, I wanted to see how they fit in my box. Good. That's good. I could put a belly band around it or I'll, I could put some type of clasp on here to hold it closed. Um, so I'm going to get some white and I'm going to do circles and I have a bunch of bottle caps, different caps. This is a pen cap. I'm just going to put it out on my palette paper. This is actually Americana multi-surface satin. I'm just going to do that and just start. I should really lay them out because it would just be easier. So I'm going to go through and do some and I'll be back. Okay, I ended up using, this is like a circle. Actually, I, I carved this myself so it's like a, I don't know. They kind of look like leopard spots, which I'm liking. So I'm just putting, I have a little palette of black paint over there. And I'm just putting a hint of black on each card now. And I don't know that I'll do much more. I could spatter. Oh, see, that actually made a spot, which that's fine. It's just because I'm using 
paint, I think I'll clean this, why not? I'm using the paint from a palette, like a, I'm just dipping it into paint on a palette and so the, the puddle must have been too deep there because I'm not using an ink pad, I'm using paint. Which I could have just used an ink pad, but I wanted to use paint. It just makes it a different, it has a different look to it. Um, I think, I'm not going to use the Tim Holtz, uh, I don't like, there's like a glob in here. The Tim Holtz, oh I just didn't carve it right. Distress inks because I don't want them to reactivate because I think when these are done, I'm going to coat them with, I think I'm going to use matte medium, not, um, Mod Podge. I was going to use Mod Podge, but I think I'm going to use matte medium. So I just take the paint, oops, which, and I'm just going to kind of, I know you can't see my palette, but I take it and I use my finger. I have the fan on, hopefully, yeah, I don't think it's um, hitting, because I'm, I'm kind of air drying these. I'm going to take it and just kind of flatten this out so that I don't get that like thick part and then I'm just taking the stamp and basically I just if, if you want to see yeah that looks good so I'm just gonna put it not too much I only want like maybe one area some are going across some I put a little extra on like two spots the same thing with the dots I did some big, like one small one, two small ones. I don't think I did three small ones on any of them. So I'm just kind of using my own judgment. Like look, so I kind of space them out. And this one's kind of empty, so I'll put a big one on the side. Um, I think I'll go off camera and I'll... Um, so now they're all playing together. That's the one thing I noticed because I did the different colors. The circles are bringing it all together now. All together now. And I mean, you could doodle on these. You could do so much more to them or less. And it's your deck of cards. Um, I'm having fun. That's what I hope for you guys is you just have fun with it. Like, there's a lot going on on this one. Maybe over the white. I don't think I went over the white a lot. But yeah, have fun. And use things maybe that you don't use very often. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to finish all this up. I'm going to paint the backs black, I think. Oh, man. I'm at least going to ink the edges. I don't know if I want to paint the backs black because it's craft and it's just going to have messiness on it, which I think I'm just going to keep. I don't know. I kind of want it. I think maybe I should do Albrayer white on there or something. I don't know. All right, I'm going to, I'll pause. Well, I just wanted to show you what it's going to look like with, um, I'm going to, I'll just use my archival and a like, a sponge, a craft sponge. See how that goes. I don't even know if this will, yeah, it's picking it up. But I want it to, um, that works. I like that. I think that finishes it off. And I think it, we could add more. You could put a little focal image. I mean, it's just, this is just the background for the, they're going to be my prompt cards. So I don't want to get too crazy, but I have a lot of inking to do if I'm going to do this to all of them. And then I'm going to go live and I'm going to get have you guys give me some input and I'm going to write a list down of 
prompts that I'm going to use when I art journal. So basically that's it you guys. I think um, I'll show you during the live what they look like. I Like I said, I'm going to, maybe while I'm live, I'm going to be adding a coat of matte medium to them because I think I just want them to be um, slipperier. See, like that's what the back looks like. So it's kind of grungy. It feels like I should fix it, like make it, I could use paint. See, I just dipped this in paint. I don't think I like the paint as much as the ink. It doesn't slide on as easily. I could float, but I don't really want to grunge it up too much. You can, all right, that's enough. Um, so that's it. Let me pull some of my green ones in. I love them. I'm gonna uh, go live soon, all right? That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.